What's up, y'all? Hope y'all having a great day. We are out here at Columbia Country Club. The legend, George. Legend stretch. But yeah, well, the, the front nine <laughs> was a good battle. Um, I'll leave it at that. Go over to his channel, Front Nine. This is a great course. Y'all are going to enjoy this nine. It's going to be a straight up match play from the tips. That's pretty much it. Yep, new nine, new match. I'm ready to get after it. We'll take you to one right now. All right, we got number one here. Par four, 427 yards. Little dog leg to the left. Bunker on the left should be drivable, so probably just driver right up and over the corner. Yeah, just send driver right over that bunker. All righty. Just about like that. Oh, I knew that, Zach. That was really, really good. That's how you want to start the match, sir. Give the people what they want. And that's what they want, Zach. Just a cinder send right over the bunker. I think that should be pretty good right there. Yep. Those were great drives right there. I am right here, 110 yards left. George right over here, 108 yards left. I'm gonna be going with a smooth little sand wedge. Pretty flat here, so let's see if we can't knock it close. but right over the pin, not a bad swing right there. We got 108 downhill, I think the wind is down a little bit, so I'm gonna play about a 105 shot, going with a 54 degree. Oh, he likes a it. Bit. <laughs> a little long, but right over the flag stick, nice shot. Uh, yeah, that wind was a little more down than I thought. Probably should play about a 100 yard shot, so. George, not exactly where we wanted to leave these shots here. Straight down the hill, birdie looks. Birdie looks are good. Both roughly, what would you say, 30 feet putting back down the hill. Mm -hmm. Great. Good putt. Thanks. Nice par. Nice par. Thank you, sir. This looks good. Ramming speed. We have liftoff in three, two, one. I just want to make it tough on myself, apparently. It goes left. Zach, how does that it go left? That goes left? Really? So last, last video we talked about the grain, right? Yes. Well, the grain is running this way. Yep. I should have known the grain is going to dictate the putt a lot out here. Well, I played it left center, left edge, and that's on me. I am the sole reason I missed that. All right, I'm one up through one hole here on this video. We are through 10 holes, but you'll have to go check out George's video on his channel. We're on to number two, par four, 387. Dog leg to the left. Good line is over those trees you see there on the left corner. Want to keep it left of that right bunker. Nice. That is money. Big bomber here. That ain't gonna hurt you. I did not think I was gonna hit it through the fairway on that line. Uh, it's a little pretty, more floaty than yours. Pretty much on the same line. Should be okay. We might be side by side. I got 112 uh, to a back pin. I got like 85 to cover the bunker. So I'm gonna try to play about a 95, 100 yard shot. The lie is going to reduce the amount of spin, so it should release a little bit. Going with 58 degree. He hit that actually really well out of that lie. How much room is over there? Um, it should be kicking a little bit left. I, that could there? be really good. Yeah, I mean, it's how I drew it up. Now, if, it depends on the bounce it got to the friend. Thankfully, I drew a little bit better lie than George. 103, got lob wedge, should be a little downhill and a little downwind. Just a little bit. Oh my. That could be 
really good. Looked like it almost landed in the hole, but I think it is a little long. Hey, good swing. Thanks. All right, so here's where George ended up. He was so close to getting onto the green, and it's all downhill. I know. Just I a few my feet. Spot by a few feet. Zach, you, about, you did about landers in the hole. Can confirm that. And you're putting back up the hill. I am so. right back there, putting right back up the hill. That is a really good line if it has enough on it. Oh, Go! That was in the center. I can confirm. Dude, good putt. I'll give that to you. Hey, I mean, you should. I mean, my putting You ain't going to miss that. See, like I said, it was good all the uh, way. That first one was just a fluke, and since it's your channel, I want to give you the biggest, like, head start you can. So that's, <laughs> I gifted you that putt all last hole. I appreciate it. Oh, if he hits it, he has it. <laughs> oh, if I'd hit that, it was in or here for me on two. I am one up through two. We're on to number three, par five, 543 yards, pretty much straight away. Bunkering down the right, so pretty much anything left of that bunker should be just fine. What drive are you swinging? Uh, I've got the Maverick. The Maverick. Maverick, yep. I've been hitting it pretty good lately. It's kind of let me down uh, the last couple videos, but today, so far, two for two and good drives. So, much improved. Literally perfect. And that is right down central. Great drive. George did just out drive me by about a foot. And we're about to get some sick drone footage. Yes, well, we are. Bearing user error. So we have 240 yards back left hole location. I've got a four iron here. I think George is going to go ahead and go first, though, since he's kind of on the left. And I might be standing on his ball. What club are you going with? I'm going with hybrid. I'm going to try to play like a cut um, to take a little distance off of this because um, I think with this downwind, it is a little too much. Oh, we hit it well. Sit down, ball. Yep, that's uh, that got cart path. Oh, nail in the coffin. Very nice. Very nice. That was big right there. That was yep. big. So George took a drop right there, shipping for four, playing it as a hazard. Yeah, quasi, quasi hazard. <laughs> uh, we'll play it as a hazard. That's what he's faced with. That was a really good shot from there. Yeah, uh, chipping from a down slope, landing on a down slope, and keeping it on the green is pretty good. I mean, in a tournament, taking that 10 out of 10 times. Absolutely. So yeah. my ball landed right there, hopped up to there, roughly 12, maybe 15 feet left for eagle. Mm, good putt. Thanks. Hey, good birdie. Thank you. Tap this in for the pin slammer. Huge pin slam and birdie right there. I go two up through three holes. We're on to number four, par four, 360 yards straight away. There's a bunker there down the left. Like I said, straight away, probably going with the stinger right down central. George is hitting that driver well, fading just a little bit. Couldn't tell from here if it hung on, but it'll be close. Good swing. Good shape right here. Thankfully, it trundled and stayed in the fairway. 112 yards left, slightly uphill, back right hole location. I've got sand wedge.
Couldn't tell on the distance, just a little right, but should be pretty good. So I am six inches from the ball and that is what that looks like. That is buried beyond buried, two feet off the fairway. Yeah, I mean, good, all in all, good drive, but <laughs> right. tough lie. That is I'll brutal. Say, the pin being in the back does make it a little bit easier that you can land a little short, but still, judging distance out of this, good luck. That is really good. I mean, honestly, that is phenomenal. All in all, both pretty good shots to this whole location. Yeah, I mean, good news is I am going to get to see what the putt, the last end of this putt does from Zach's ball. So hopefully I can take that and use it to my advantage. with the four. What a putt. No I just, I just didn't way. learn. I didn't play it quite far enough out of the right. Dude, great putt. Thanks. That's good. All right, so George, wanted to know what is in your bag? Um, All Callaway clubs. We got some old wedges here uh, done up by Anthony Toronto. Go Gamecocks. Dude, those We've got are some sick. fun designs. Um, kind of old, but you know, I like me some old wedges for some reason. And then we got the Apex Pros. Um, they actually just put in the bag again, uh, actually yesterday. So, kind of give them a trial run. Don't use this one. This one's just in there for fun. A steel shafted bomb boomstick off the tee. Then the hybrid that we just hit out of bounds. But this thing's money. Um, nice. Rogue three wood that I love. Just hadn't hit it today. Maybe I should. And then Maverick. Maverick. What so, shaft is in your driver? Just an old school, run of the mill, all the NV Tour Green. I've had this this version, well, not this version, but I've had the all all the NV since probably ninth grade. So really? there's been like three or four iterations of it, and it's honestly a pretty cheap shaft, um, comparatively speaking. But it works for me, and I love it. Through four holes, I am two up. We're on to number five, super cool par three, slightly downhill, 203 yards. Not exactly sure what the wind is doing here. It feels like it's off the right, maybe hurting, but then a second ago I thought it was down. I am gonna be going with the six iron, so hopefully we can execute that yardage. Tried to swing that a little too hard and definitely left that out to the right. And heading towards the bunker as well. All right, here's George right here, and I am right there in the bunker. I think six iron was the play. Yeah, I think, I mean, it keeps me below that hole with the uh, uphill putt. Um, this one I'm probably going to be aiming about six, uh, eight feet to the right. There's a pretty big slope there. Hopefully let it feed up to the left. Really a good play from there. Four or five feet, putting back up the hill. was that. a huge up and down right there. That is big. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Never a doubt, never a doubt. That's, I mean, I knew I was gonna make mine. I was just hoping <laughs> that you would miss and give me an opportunity. One of my many mantras on the course is I always say our threes are very good. Regardless of how easy or hard the hole is, threes don't add up very quick. So threes are always good in my books. Love that saying. And this is your cart. This is mine. <laughs> that was a huge par save right there to remain two up through five. We're on to number six, par five, 542 yards. Kind of straight off the tee, but does bend to the right. So a little butter cut would be ideal. To you how I let it fly.
Got it. I did see it bounce. Oh, it bounced. I saw it bounce. Might have got lucky oh. there. There is water down the right side, and it did look like it kind of settled down when it landed. Hopefully, it's okay. That is how you want to drive the ball in this hole, I do believe. Yeah, that's a fairway Faraday right there. Old fairway Faraday right here. If I can hit that same shot as I smoked out of bounds on uh, that hole over there, <laughs> we should be good because that went about 250 yards in the air and that's what I got. And he really couldn't have hit that any better. That is heading Sweet. right at the flag. <laughs> Dude, great, great shot. So yours in the water, we're, we're switching this to stroke play now, right? <laughs> I think I stayed dry, we'll see. Oh, it's the water. Yeah, I was just telling Zach, this tree right here is eating up a lot of dreams. Not only my, well, I'm speaking from experience, but I've witnessed dreams be dashed because of this thing right here. You get one sailing right and you think, oh, it might carry it. And then you hear the, and then it drops down the water, then you gotta drop over there. Thankfully, but my yeah, dreams were not totally dashed. We are okay, just into the thick stuff right there. Probably 240 yards yeah, left. 230. 230. 230. Probably just not getting there chipping from that out. Lie, so. No. Got a pitching wedge here. Hopefully, gonna just play it out over that tree. Little way up. And that is the said tree he's talking about. And I will hopefully zoom this right where I think it's gonna go. Yep. Hey, look at that zoom. Gotcha. Dude, that's some money camera work. Hey, man. That was good camera It's not my work. first rodeo. <laughs> Almost got it in the fairway, however, just into the rough. And I'm going to zoom in up here so you can see how good of a shot George hit. I mean, that looks to be about 10 feet, maybe even 8 feet just left of the flag. We need a dart right here, sand wedge in hand. was a little mini flyer right there. We are putting. What a dart right here Man, from 250. 250. I mean, that's it's, impressive. It's called redemption. That hybrid owed me for that la for the first hybrid that just went out of bounds or into the hazard. Um, it owed me, so very much needed. Two down. Need to apply the pressure to at least get back in this match. That might be the closest, longest shot on the channel outside of 250. I don't know if I've seen one inside of 10 feet on the channel. Thank you. My work here is finished. <laughs> What you an right. eagle, sir. I Thank had you. a feeling. Great, great putt. So George wanted to do an eagle dance no, no, instead of the want, camera did, dropper. Didn't, wa didn't <laughs> want to. I just said I saw it and was hoping I wouldn't have to do that because what I saw is something that's not worth repeating or, <laughs> or imitating. I think he's talking about A-Rod 17 doing something ridiculous at some point. Yeah. So, yeah. Great, great eagle, eagle. though. All right. Well, I actually have the honor, so I get to explain the hole. Um, this is actually a good hole. Today's into the win, I think. 450 from the back tees. Um, pretty narrow, narrow fairway. It's probably 25 yards wide. You got a lot of space between tree to tree line, but um, long hole, tough green too. So premium on hitting this fairway. This guy is fairway Faraday. I mean, out here with the rough as thick as it is, hitting it in the fairway is paramount. See if we can't do the same. That won't hurt down there. Little left right there. May have a little tree trouble. Last two drives, not exactly what we were looking for. And this is what you call right down central. Your driver has looked really good today. Yeah, it's, it's felt pretty good. Now if I can just get this iron shot around, you know, 20 feet or in to really force some pressure on you, Zach. I like you know, it. I am one down, so. 160, kind of in between clubs. Got the nine iron right now, but 
this wind shifts, I think I'm gonna have to go to eight. George says he's going with the eight. The wind did shift on him. And that is what he was looking for. That's a good number. Dude, great shot. Thank you. Money in the bank. Whew. We got 135 here. Need to play this below this branch right in front of me, but do have a decent little gap here. Kept it below the tree and missed it in a good spot. Got a little sand in the face right there. Whew. George dialing up another dart. I mean, I think we found something that's like somewhat uh, doable. Um, and it only took me 16 holes today because <laughs> our match, I had some spurts. Well, yeah, some spurts. But this one, the last three have been super solid. Some really good swings. It's got that left for birdie. I was just a little long left. See if we can't chip it close. Let me in the door. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. George did not see that coming. The old chip in for the pin slammer. Did you see that coming? No, I was like in my head, all right, so he's going to be even with two to play. This is awesome. Then we win the next hole, come striping it. And now we have to make this or else I'm dormy. Two to two to go. Thanks, man. There was never a doubt. I mean, I'm still bitter. I mean, <laughs> it's when Eagle Birdie and I was supposed to be happy. But Zach just had the chip into the century. On well, my channel, I hadn't seen anything like that. Hey, good job, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. All righty. George remains one down, but he still has the tee box. Yeah. 192. I think the wind's like this way, off the right, maybe? Yeah, off the right. So I'm playing about a 195 ish, 190 shot. Going six iron. Sounds good. That needs to fly just a little. All okay. right, shouldn't we be too bad. A long putt, but it's better than no putt. The juices are flowing after that chip in, so I'm gonna go with the seven iron here. That was huge right there. We've got a pin slamming look ahead. All right, George right here dialing up his birdie bid, roughly 35 feet. Thankfully, there's like a ridge. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. I thankfully stayed right on the top. I mean, two feet shorter, and that thing's probably trundling back to the front edge. Yeah, I need this one. That's a really good line if it has the speed. It just pumped the brakes into the grain. That did. This putt would be for the match. I do see it breaking a little from the left to the right, back up the hill. Let's not leave this short. Oh and the God. heart, let's go. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> I feel you close to me. <laughs> Nice job. I would give you a high five. Air pound. Air pump, air bump, whatever you want to call it. Nice work. You really I appreciate it. You came out of nowhere. I kind of thought after that eagle, I'm like, okay, I got a chance. And then you missed the green on the last hole. I'm like, okay, I really got a chance. And then he chips in and that just like flipped everything back on its head. So well done. I appreciate it. You and played then, well. Yeah. Too. I mean, I think I got it back to one under after that start. So you did. Honestly, I'm not upset with that. Taking a loss to someone who was. What, two birdies and an eagle maybe today? Or no, three birdies, I think. I think so. Maybe four. Yeah. I don't know. A lot of good golf was played. It so was I'm fun. Upset. That was a fun match. Fun to end it that way. However, stay tuned. We're going to continue. We're going to finish nine. Double or nothing sounds about right. I mean, sounds good. If I win, then we tie. Or <laughs> I win today, basically. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Ninth and final hole right here. We're going to play it through. And apparently we're playing this for double or nothing, according to George. Par four. 400 and roughly 40 yards from this back tee box. Tee high, let it fly. We're just gonna have some fun here on the last, see if we can end with the birdie. Is that a 
another fairway ferdy. Another fairway. That's like five in a row. I don't know. I hadn't missed Dude. one in a while. That should be really good right there. All right, Fairway Faraday. That is your nickname on the channel. It might be your nickname on your channel, probably. You uh, hit about every effect. fairway. <laughs> What's uh, your number in? 176, in the wind I think it should be into, which puts me right in between a seven and eight. Um, probably gonna go with the cut seven. And that is just how you draw it up. Get a little more right. Yeah, a really good shot. Thank you. Left side of the fairway right here, 157, back right pin, 9 iron in hand. Hit that on a good number right there. Thought it would drift a little more right, but not too bad. George right there, I'm right back there. Both good shots. This isn't an easy hole. It's kind of a long par four to finish here. I've got roughly eh, 25, 30 feet. George is looking about 15. Can you do it to me again? Okay, good. Shoot! <laughs> Shoot! Uh, Can you leave your ball there? That is a perfect aiming target. We'll leave it there for him. He's aiming right at it. A little backstop. There. Oh, I talked too early. I early called him. <laughs> you know, that was to win the whole day. That was to win. And the now <laughs> I just tie the day. That is all she wrote. All through. That was fun. I appreciate you having me out here. Yep. This course was excellent. Columbia Country Club, thank you so much for hosting us today. We're going to have to do this again soon. I agree. I mean, I'm glad you won on your channel. I didn't want to come on and just like hurt your feelings, but definitely there needs to be another one because I want to win them all. <laughs> I don't know, but it was a lot of fun. I'm glad you won. I'm glad we played well, more than more importantly, honestly. Yeah, there was so. a lot of good golf played. Yeah. You hit some great shots. Like I said, that was the longest, closest shot I do believe hit on the channel. Comment below if you can remember another time, but I don't think so. A lot of good swings from you. Lots of birdies, eagle. Lots of fun. Yeah, if y'all enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. Make sure to check out George. I'll link all his info down in the description down below. And y'all, until next time, we'll see you when we see ya. Peace.